me about Justice for All, they always ask, what's that? What do you guys do? I usually respond with a very clear objective. Well, we want to become a nonprofit, open an LGBTQ community center, and start a halfway house for queer homeless youth. <laughs> yes, these goals are true to the spirit and basis of Justice for All, but I feel like we do so many other things that are hard to verbalize to another person in an elevator speech. To me, our main objective is bringing people together. I feel like Justice for All is a wonderful home base for queers in Asheville. I feel like Justice for All gives LGBTQ people a platform to bring up issues that affect them and have a place to try and bring awareness to that issue. I think that Jufa promotes creativity from LGBTQ people and allows them a safe space to present their work. I believe Jufa gives queer visibility and a sense of importance. Most importantly, I feel like Justice for All grants all people with the power of knowledge and fellowship. I am grateful for every person to have ever shown up to a Jufa event or meeting. The generosity and support from the Asheville community as a whole has been mind-blowing and life-altering on many levels. The relationships I've been a part of and watched form around me through Jufa lead me to believe that we are definitely doing something right. I am grateful to Asheville and its allies for helping us, helping us push forward in the LGBTQ movement. Overall, I am grateful for this organization and am proud of it. I look forward to many years with it. So, there's so much that I hold inside, and this organization has done a lot for me, and, and Sam has been one of those people who has really shaped my life in ways that they don't really know. Another person is Luna Tiansen. Luna Tiansen has been one of my aces here in the community. Um, she's taught me, again, how to grow as a leader, how to grow as a person. So thank you. I'm honored. Um, so with that, I'll just read what I wrote today. The things that make me say I appreciate you. Whether you like me or not, it's irrelevant. I appreciate the care you took to make this event a priority. So thank you, Holly, Sam, Martina, Floor, our musicians, the hop, our guests, our friends. I appreciate you. I appreciate our community. I appreciate accountability. I appreciate integrity. I appreciate my friends for what they have done to embrace me, to shape me, to support me. So thank you. Thank you again, Sam, Luna, Jack, my sister Erica, Amy, Heather, Tally, um, for, for being a fantastic colleague of mine at Western. I appreciate you and everyone here. I appreciate this life despite my hardships, my abuse, my confusions, and my frustrations. I appreciate the challenges that I face. I appreciate the unknown that have yet to come and yet to be explored. And whether you like me or not, I appreciate the care that you took to make this a priority. So thank you very much for being here. When Holly was telling me about Jufa, I thought one of the great things about our community is that we, we sort of move along in phases and things get started again. People come with new energy. And I think that's one of our greatest strengths. And the, and the focus changes. You were saying that marriage to you is like a right, <laughs> like we're ever going to have that right in North Carolina. And I think for me, I didn't think that we would ever have a non-discrimination ordinance in the city. I didn't think that we would ever have partner benefits in the city. So, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Um, and I applaud you for, for taking up the, the challenge and continuing to build community because it's something that we all need. Thank you. So, get, get familiar with your own history here in the mountains. There's, there's still a lot of hate, there's still a lot of things going on, but it doesn't compare to what was there even 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So stay caught up in your current, stay caught up in your national trends, but make sure you know what's going on in your own community from a history point of view. And I have to congratulate y'all because I don't know another group other than maybe Campaign for Southern Equality or Florida, North Carolina who really stays grounded in what's going on on, on a consistent basis. Um, and so I want to give y'all all the credit in the world for doing that because that's a hard something to stay on. Um, but like I said, if you want your parlor's pride, um, we'll take you. We'll take your one hour, we'll take your 30 minutes, we'll take whatever you got. Um, but congratulations to you guys, and, and I hope that this is the first of many celebrations to come for y'all.
speakers today. Thank you everyone for coming out. It was really a surprisingly moving little event. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I just want to close by really just thanking the city of Asheville. Um, on August 5th, is actually my fifth year here. Uh, it was my anniversary. I kind of moved here really broken and sleeping on a yoga mat on someone's floor for a few months. And to watch what the city has done to me and I mean, I was 20, I hated being gay, and I was angry, and to be up here in a really kind of, you know, family-oriented type place talking about being a homo, it's really, really big, and um, I'm really grateful for everyone that showed up, and uh, yeah, I hope. Thank you to the hop! <laughs> and I'm looking forward to the things we have coming up this year and working with all the other organizations. You guys are awesome and inspiring. And I'm just really grateful. Thanks for coming out. Thank you.